In my last video, I showed a basic guide on how to build your agent in the Division 2. In this video, I'll show you my rifle build, the Ninja Turtle build, that will reference throughout in that basic guide. Now, this build, playstyle, and features are to engage enemies and take precision shots from a distance. It can solo PvE and game, and it has self-sustained heal through patience. My primary weapon is the MK-70 rifle with the Ranger talent. The more distance we have between us and the enemy, the more damage we get. The second talent is optimized for a well-rounded boost to both our accuracy and stability. The third talent is up to you. Now, the mods are a big source of crit chance for weapons. We can make up for the negatives elsewhere, whether it's on our armor or through our specialization. The extended magazine is so good to the point of brokenness. 30 extra rounds on a rifle is just so over the top. If you do not have this blueprint, start farming tier 3 control points. Secondary weapon is entirely, again, up to you. I use Merciless because Merciless third talent will boost my primary weapon's damage. You might prefer a light machine gun for close quarter combat or a marksman rifle to t fully take the sharpshooter specialization. Some people even use chatterbox for increased rate of fire. Sidearm is also up to you. I use the one that increases your weapon swap speed. Specialization, we're going to use sharpshooter since our primary damage is going to be coming from rifle. And we're going to get a lot of boost to our stability and accuracy. Tactician drone is also a fun secondary skill to have. I use Self Revive Hive. As a solo player, this is mandatory. Once you tried it, you'll never go back. Second skill would be, again, this is up to you and your own preference. You can have the Flame Launcher for openers, you can have the Tactician drone, drone for marking targets, or you can have Flame Turrets to deter rushes. The options are pretty much wide open. There are two talents that we really need in this build. One is Patient, and one is Unstoppable Force. Patient helps us with our self-sustain and indirectly improves our damage. Unstoppable Force gives us more armor, and by stacking armor, we can not only take more damage, but we'll also be able to do more damage as well, so it's two birds, one stone. Do note that it only appears on active slots of chests, while Patient will only appear on knee pads. The priority order of the items that you should go after are Patience on knee pads, Unstoppable Force on chest, stats, and finally brand bonuses. It is very important to remember that you always have a combination of at least 7 defensive stats on armor and mod slots or else your patient and unstoppable force talent will not work. For the stats you want are crit chance, remember the cap is 60, you want bonus armor, you want weapon damage on chest and backpack, you want rifle damage on your gloves, you want critical hit damage, and you want damage to elite on mask. Do note, criti critical hit damage is probably the lowest in this um, in priority out of this list. For the brand bonus, you want at least Gilga one piece that gives you total armor, Overlord two piece that gives rifle damage and total armor. For mods, besides wanting the stats listed above, you also want total armor. This mod stat can give you fifteen thousand armor or more, depending on how much armor you have. Now here are some stats I want to share with you of my my own right Ninja Turtle rifle build. I have 39k weapon damage, 59% crit chance, 47% critical damage, 87% headshot damage. My offensive stats include 29% bonus rifle damage and 80% damage to elites. My armor is sitting at 217,000 while my health is sitting at 44,000. So those are the pretty much my stats for my Ninja Turtle build and this build can solo challenge missions and tier 4 control points though tier 4 is not efficient and does not give you more or better blueprints so i recommend sticking to tier 3 con control points no matter what, what build you use and now i want to show some of few edited videos of this build in action you can see me taking over tier 4 control points and some challenge missions you can also see the style of play this build is designed for and i hope you enjoy the build and if you have any questions feel free to ask them below and I'll be glad to ha answer them.
first. Vital science critical. to die here. 